assembled here again. I uh, would like to say for strengths. I'm sorry. My strengths, uh, you know, in terms of strength. Oh, that's my brother. Is, is this OK? Can anybody hear me? So uh, in terms of strengths, my strength really comes from my legislative background. As I said, I'm a public law student, so the nitty gritty stuff, about the real work that goes into creating laws is what I'm really passionate about. My current job, I work for Michigan Office Solutions. It's a consultative arm of Xerox. I actually manage legal accounts for the company. So I currently, uh, my job is basically to negotiate corporate contracts with attorneys. And so nobody would probably be uh, willing to say that I'm easy to push around. Uh, I, I do my best and you know the council sees me fairly often at the meetings. I, I ask fairly substantive questions about the, the real fine detail of our laws because this is a legislative position. I think it's very important to, po to, point, out, to point out that fact. Uh, this is very financially motivated. You know, you have to be able to manage the budget and whatnot, but we need legislators to come in here. This is our city's version of a Congress, and it's very important work. It affects every single one of us. Uh, in terms of the main issue, putting that legislative background to work in order to help revise our city charter, it has been something on the agenda for years. Past administrations, past councils, and it never gets done. And I can tell you why it never gets done, because the charter, if you've ever looked at it, it's about 500 pages with the court ordinances. I don't know if you know what's on around the 300th page, but you know I don't think anybody does. But I bet you can get a ticket for it. So at some point, you'll probably want to know. And so I think that's something that I'd like to focus on. It's the main issue to me. It's the main issue to our city because it's all encompassing. It really affects everything that we do and the council does. It actually outlines our positions. Um, the clerk, Cindy, and even the deputy clerk, Sarah, I see back there, they are probably are more familiar with me than they'd like to be because I. I'm constantly up there filing Freedom of Information Act requests to get access to the legislative documents that they pass on the council because these are the most important things that they do. And I hope to bring that issue to the forefront. Thank you. So my number one strong point is I am an organization type person. I believe I'm a positive mental attitude and I believe in having a plan. For the last 28 years, I had to provide a business plan every year. That's how I was going to reach that budget that I had to reach. I want to bring those skills to the city council and make sure that we're all on the same page and that we all are on the same plan and we're working that plan. The biggest thing and one of the reasons why Charlie and I are running together as a team is we believe in the same things. We have to get people back moving into this city. We have to increase the population. Um, there's a lot of factors that, that go into that, and it's going to take more than two minutes to explain exactly how uh, we intend to do that, but we also want to take care of our local businesses, too. Um, do you see these small pop, mom and pop shops? They may not mean a lot, uh, but overall, they do. How many vacant buildings do we see in our town? So we need to bring back those businesses, the small business owner, and we need to promote those small business owners. I saw we did that recently in the, one of the issues of the, the Taylor Magazine where we uh, out, uh, um, uh, featured, I believe it was Ace Hardware maybe, and also Phillips Restaurant. Uh, so we got to continue to do those, but more importantly, we got to make this city where people want to move into it. Thank you. Hi, I believe my biggest strength is that I am self-financing my campaign. Okay, I somebody also mentioned that and I forgot to mention that. I am a small business owner, and what happens when you start taking the donations, you get what you have in Macomb County. The FBI indictments, the trash contracts, the bribery, the filth. And when you start taking these huge donations from all these, you know, bidders, who do you really work for? You work for them. So I'm not rich. I'm not, but I'm successful and I'm comfortable. So I planned on running for council a couple years ago, so I've been putting away a little bit of money, you know, cutting back on things. So I am self-financing my campaign, meaning I will not take any donations at all, especially from any of the contractors. Now, our biggest issue in the city, and it feeds into a lot of what they say, that's kind of a foundation issue, is high property taxes. Uh, Michigan State Treasury does a bulletin, and they only look at the tax rates for the cities themselves. They throw out the zoo, the county, the schools, all that, they look at the cities. We're number 14 out of 1,856 communities. We're very high. 
and that makes it hard for families to afford homes. A friend of mine finally bought her house in Taylor after two years of trying. The reason she couldn't buy her house for almost two years is because they now base it on selling price, insurance, which is generally uniform, and property taxes. And she was qualified for the home, she thought, and she went to different mortgage lenders, and they kept saying, you can't get this house in Taylor because the taxes are so high. So guess what? Families can't move in. The landlords, a lot of them are foreign. They buy the houses and they rent them out. So you want to bring families into Taylor, you lower the taxes, you make homes more affordable for first-time buyers. Thank you. I think one of the strengths I have is the most important strength is I love this city. Uh, I'm an emotional person, and when I talk about a place like the city or the schools, it gets to my heart. Baby here. <laughs> um, I think that's one of my strengths, and I am a good listener. I listen very well. Um, if you have a problem, you can come to me and I'll listen to what you have to say. Hopefully I can direct you into the right path of where you, you can get the answer. I think one of my biggest pet peeves is the reputation Taylor has. Taylor has the worst reputation on Facebook. Don't ever go on Facebook and listen to what is written on there because you won't want to come to move to, move to Taylor. Um, you know, it's just, I just can't stand the things that people say about Taylor. Um, I think also I agree with the, um, the boarded up buildings, um, the homes, the empty buildings that we have in the city are, is just unbelievable. I um, mean, you drive around, like Charlie I know drives around all the time in Taylor, and you're looking, there's an empty building here, or there's an empty building there. You know, that's got to stop. we got to do something about that. Also, um, trash. And I think, I want to mention Charlie and Dave again with the Taylor crew, the cleanup crew, because they're out there all the time picking up trash. And any of the other volunteers that you notice um, that are out there picking it up. If you see trash, pick it up. That's what I tell the kids in the school and our green team. See trash, pick it up, throw it away. Don't go it on, throw it down on the ground. Um, but I think the biggest thing is the reputation that Taylor has. Um, and there is things that everyone has said here that goes along with that reputation. We need to get families into our city, living in our city, not renting, but living into our city, and stay here and raise our families so that we can have a good school district too. Thank you. I feel that my uh, biggest issue as far as why I should be in this position that I am, because I'm a citizen. I've been in this town since 1973. I represented the people for 20 years on the streets of this city. I have seen every type of person there is to see. I've seen their hardships. I've seen their ups and downs, and I've seen their needs. And when I was elected, the two times I was elected, that kind of tells me that several thousand people in this city trust me. And they trusted me twice. They may not always trust me and decide not to vote for me, and I fully understand that. And I had big shoulders. But I still will always represent these people and the people of this town the way they should be represented, because I am one of them. And the thing that will concern me when I'm elected again, and it's always been for me, is public safety. When I was on the department, there were 105 people. We are 65 with a population still around 63,000. We had a hard time then keeping up. And I realized that the present administration are in tough times. They, they walked into this and they're doing everything they can to bring us back to where we should be with our police and fire. And that's what I hope. But the other issue is this, our youth. That has always concerned me. We need more youth programs. They walk the streets, they get in trouble, but nobody has an explanation because they have nothing to do. Thank you very much. Thank you.